Still on music here. Wanted to talk about um, a couple things that I just been trying out um, while I'm waiting on this uh, release to drop or whatever. Um, I was sitting there playing around and um, I decided to say just to see if I can um, if I can route the reason rack out of Ableton into Logic. Now, I didn't spend I didn't spend a real lot of time to really route every single channel out of Ableton into Logic. Um, I just pretty much just did something really simple, where I loaded up eight tracks of Reason into um, into Ableton, and um, I put some instruments on there. I didn't do nothing way really spectacular like stacking the instruments or anything like that, and um, I just pretty much set it up so I can write the file into an audio track to be mastered. I'm going to like mix it down. You mix it down while it's actually recording into Logic and um, mass it down later. You know what I'm saying? It's going to record it into an audio file. So the way I have this here set up is I have Ableton recording the session. And I have Logic recording the audio. But they will both play at the same time. They're both on sync. They're both on tempo. Um, everything is working good. And I also notice um, that it's not lagging with the way I'm doing this here. And I'm not running re uh, rewire. I'm using uh, MIDI sync. So um, in the process of this right here, what I've just been playing with, I'm just gonna show you guys um, how it works and um, how it reacts to me using it in Logic. So I'm just gonna um, play the audio so you won't. I won't be talking while I'm doing this here.
watch this uh, quick draft of how you were pretty much recorded in there. And um, if I wanted to, I can actually play that back and hear what it sounds like in real time. And this is going to be, it recorded it. I mean, it's digital right there, but the way I have it routed through the mixer, um, it's, it's turning it into analog. It's recording it back in Logic as an analog track. And then I add the other digital processing um, effects and stuff like that on there. Let me see if I can play it back. Um, I'm gonna have to. If I turn these here off, I'm not really uh, uh, able to use them. I'm, I'm really starting to get used to this since I've been playing with this here. So I just want to make sure if I got that turned off real quick. Alright, so let me hit play right here and play it back. So it did work. I mean, it was just a test for me right there. I'm not going to save that right there. Um, I probably ain't up trying to. I'm going to save this here as a template, though. And um, that way, now, when I get ready to do my beats using the Reason Rack, and I, and I want to record that into Logic as a um, as an analog file, now that's how I will route it. I will route it straight from Ableton into Logic. And use the reason rack well this is slump music thanks for tuning in don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time